Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen. Today we're going to look at Renea Paris Cocoa. This is an older style but a very popular style for Renea Paris. This color is Maple Sugar R. Now before I go any further, I want to tell you, if you do not like permatease, you can click off of this video. <laughs> this is not your wig. However, if you follow me along this journey over this last few years, you will know I like permatease. I have nothing against permatease, but I totally respect your opinion if you say no, not for me. I but there is a place for some permatease in my life anyway. Okay, let's talk about this. I want to start showing you some more basic cap styles, some more budget-friendly styles, because listen, wigs are expensive. We know that. They are getting more pricey as time goes on, and that's something that I keep in mind, and I know you do too. So I want to show some that are, I think, adorable styles, wearable styles, and a little more budget friendly. However, when we talk about budget friendly, we're talking about things that do not have, like I said, all the bells and whistles. So this is very basic, but this is a budget friendly style and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that because I love this style. I think it's so cute. I like this with a blue jean jacket with the collar popped, a white linen shirt, a white cotton shirt, this kind of sweater. I think it works with so many different things. I like the flippy back of this. It's a tried and true style. It's a bestseller for Renee Pierce for a reason. Now, this wig was provided to me for review from Wig Studio One, so be sure to go over there and check that out. I own this wig myself, so I have purchased this. I have not reviewed this color, so I really wanted to have a look at Maple Sugar R for you. Now, let's talk about fit. My head is 21 and a quarter inches. This fits me snug. So I would say if you have anything over uh, a 22, this is absolutely not going to work. Like I said, with mine 21 and a quarter, it's a snug fit. So if that gives you any indication of how it might work for you. Now these bangs are too long for me. These are four inches. I find four inch bangs are a little long for me, for my face. I will trim these. I have not done any adjustments to this wig. I wanted to talk about it and show it to you first before I do any adjustment, but I am absolutely going to trim these wigs just a little. And the way I do that is I just cut them this way. I don't cut them across. I cut them from the bottom and trim them up a little. I want to keep them jagged like they are on the ends and it's super easy to do. Like I said, four inch bang. The crown of this is five and it has that two inch nape. Now let's talk about the color, maple sugar rooted. I'm going to show it to you in outdoor lighting, but it's a honey brown base on this wig. Then it has all this strawberry bond highlights and a dark root. Now let's talk about styling this a little bit. I'm going to show you the inside of the cap in a minute. But there are different ways to style short wigs. I've always said don't tell, let anyone tell you you can't style a short wig because you can't. Um, and one thing I want to talk about is the bangs. Now, I, as you know, am a very big fan of these um, hot air brushes. This is the Hot Tools. I will link below. I love this thing. I use this on my heat friendly just to keep the ends looking good. I use it on my synthetic. This is something I use almost on a daily basis. If not a bang, then I will curl under my bobs just to give them a smooth look. It is something I think everyone should own. It is safe for synthetic because it does not get hot. But I will use this on these bangs every time I wear this wig. And I'm going to show you how I do that. It's going to be a little noisy, so bear with me. Keep it moving always. Always keeping it moving. You can bump these bangs under really easily just by doing this. Just running it through there. You see? You can easily, easily control these bangs. Again, these are too long. 
but if I had them trimmed, it's just so easy. So I want to give you a few little tips about how to hide permatease. Now on this wig, you see the top, how I have pulled it one way and pulled it another. I will pull it this way and then I will pull a few hairs this way back and forth across the top of this wig. And I do that, number one, I like the look it gives it. Number two, it will hide some of that permatease. So you don't feel like you just have a big ball of permatease there. A lot of times I will use, as you know, some water. I'll spray it and then I just start working these fibers back and forth a little. And I will pull some over this way, pull some over that way, go back and forth and I will just play with the top of this until I feel like I have covered some of that permatease. That's just a trick I use and I think it works really well. Again, I'm just going to separate the fibers with some water just the way I like it again. This is all just my opinion, y'all. Take it for what it's worth. <laughs> but I like it. I think it's fun. I like to spike mine up. I'm all about it. However, like I said, if you don't, that's totally fine too. So I just think this is such a wearable style. It is budget friendly. Sometimes that's just what we like. I think this is a perfect first wig. If you're new to wigs, you don't really know what your style is, what your color is, if you, what the mono features are. You don't want to spend a ton of money on something you might not wear or you might not like. I think it is a good place to start with something like this. And you can find out, do I like permatease, do I not? You'll know that right off the bat. Do I like the lift this gets me or do I not? So these are, it's, such, it's a good way to learn without breaking the bank. Let's just style this a little bit. I'm going to put it on with a headband, of course. And I'm going to put it behind my ears because I think this one looks just as cute all the way behind your ears. Now, we can't pull it off our face because we have no lace front here, but you can certainly put it behind your ears all the way, a little bit down, if you would like. The coverage is good here. Let me show you that both sides but like I said there is no lace front here and you can get your hands in here and you can make this really big if you want to it is just a matter of preference or smooth it down just a little bit too another way about permatees is if you have a wig like this you don't want it spiky you want to smooth it a little just get your comb and pull the fibers all to one side just a little Nothing too, too drastic. You can comb the bangs over more to the side just by pulling them over a little and getting a little more of a sleek look that way. And you've also hidden that permatease there as well. Me, I want it, I want it big. I want it big hair. I want big hair. I like big hair. So you all know that. If you followed me, you know I'm all about the big hair. I don't have a problem with that at all. So I do, like I said, just kind of playing with these fibers, getting them where I like them, covering that permatease a little so it's not just so noticeable. And you can easily work with that, in my opinion spike it up, smooth it down. There's lots of things you can do with this. Put a little, I keep a lot of these just in, inexpensive hair accessories around. You could just pull the top of this over, pull it down, put a little fun clip in it. There's a lot you can do. You really can. Okay, here is a basic cap on this Renea Paris Coco large top here that has all the permatease built right in there. Closed ear taps with stays, it's open wefted, it has pull adjusters, and it has this little contoured nape, which I think is kind of neat there. There is some stretch here, but like I said, this did fit me snug. I want you to have another look at Maple Sugar R. What a pretty color. Look at all these different, these different shades. 
All right, that's a look at Renea Paris Cocoa and Maple Sugar R. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun making this. If you would like to see more of these kind of videos where I show some budget-friendly styles, how to style them, some different layers of permatease, some that have a lot, some that have maybe not too much, but all keeping in mind of a little more budget-friendly, let me know and I will work on that. Again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your support. I truly appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.